Well, hey guys, welcome back to LS Vintage Design. I'm Lisa. How's everybody doing? I hope you are having an amazing Monday. So we are back for the second episode of Redecorating Your Home on a Budget with a Vintage Vibe. And today's episode is all about textiles. And I don't think I realized how much is covered under textiles, but there is a lot. There are curtains, bed linens, towels, rugs, upholstery slash slip covers, and pillows. That is a lot, but don't worry. We're going to cover it all, so we're just going to jump in. When you are redecorating on a budget for a vintage vibe or to have a vintage vibe, it depends on, do you want to go a lot vintage, like true vintage? Do you want to stay kind of half and half and do a little bit of real vintage, a little bit repop vintage? Or do you want to go just real minimal with just a hint? All of that, that determines where, what direction you head, honestly. So let's say we're going to go middle of the road. We're going to do a little true vintage. We're going to do a little repop and we're going to keep half modern. So how do you do that? With paint, it was easy. How do you do that with textiles? Actually, I think this is even easier than paint. The problem is paint in the long run ends up being less expensive than doing all of these. Or even a few of these. These can get quite pricey, but we're going to do this on a budget. Curtains. I don't know. How, do people like curtains now? I personally have curtains in my home. I like them better than the mini blinds because they block out more light. I have blackout curtains or they let a lot of light in. It's not that in between that the slats give you on mini blinds or blinds. So I like curtains. Now on curtains you can do real subtle like just put a color up and the colors for mid-century modern let's say we're going to do that error you have a wide range of colors to choose from and I'll put this little graphic up in the corner here. You have pinks, but not real in-your-face pinks. They're almost a mauve pink. You have oranges, but it, again, it's a muted orange. Turquoise, greens, blues, yellows, a gold, a muted red. The mid-century modern colors can be muted, or they can be a little bold. Not a lot, but a little bit. And again, you can have reds. You can have mint greens. You can have creams. You can have grays. Mid-century modern encompasses a lot of colors. But the main ones you think about when you think of mid-century modern are turquoise, pinks, and a gold, yellow, plus a red. Because if you look at some of the mid-century modern things. Anyway, I'm going to put my favorite mid-century modern, modern palette up. Not a true mid-century modern ballet, if that makes sense. I'll put it up here. So when you're doing curtains, you can go with any one of these colors. You could get a pattern in any one of those colors. Whatever fits your style, whether it's solid, some type of floral or pattern, or just, you know, the slightest hint of color. Or you can go real in your face kitschy with it and get a curtain like this off of Amazon or Wayfair. This is video is not sponsored, so everybody's going to get equal time. So it just depends on your taste, what you like. I think the kitschy ones are adorable. I have one in my family room and it just goes great with a modern brown couch tomato red chair, and a dark brown chair. Mix your colors, people. Mix your patterns. Have some fun. But 
like I said, if your vibe is floral, you can pick florals in our colors. You can do whatever you want. Stripes, chevron, whatever. So curtains can be pricey though. And like I said, some people like curtains, some people don't. Everybody's different. Bed linens, again, those can be pricey, especially when you get a vintage look. But that can be where you spend your money. That could be the centerpiece. Curtains, they're not so much of a centerpiece. And I don't know if you've noticed, when you hang curtains, yes, you see them, yes, they're very pretty, but curtains are never the star of the room. It's always a piece of furniture or a special large item. Okay, so in the bedroom, when you walk in, what's the star of your show? It's the bed. So you might want to splurge and get something really cool that fits your vibe. And they have really nice vintage repop comforters, quilts, and bedspreads. But then if you're going to do that when it comes to the pillows and the rugs in the room, you want to go modern. Because you want it to shine, you want that bedding to be the star, but you don't want it to be like, oh my gosh, what, what, you know, you have to live with it daily. And that's what you keep need to keep in mind as you're picking colors. And that's why I like our palette up here, because it is the vintage mid-century modern colors, but with that modern twist on them. So if you go with these colors, it's going to blend seamlessly in with all your other decor, which is what you want. But if you are a true diehard and you want really something vintage, I would stay away from vintage curtains. Even if they've been laundered, I think your vintage bedspreads or quilts are the best way to go. And I think you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck. And you can find these on Etsy. You can find them on eBay, you know, up to you where you shop. I would be leery of any vintage textiles, though, that I can't go see in person. That's why I would recommend, a, you know, an estate sale or an antique mall near you where you can go in. You can actually feel the fabric. You can see the fabric up close. Any you know, imperfections, any fading rips, tears that can be hid with a camera and online. You can also smell it. Because face it, textiles hold odors, even if they've been laundered a ton of times. If it came from a smoking home, which, face it, a long time ago, every home was a smoking home, that smell could be trapped in there. And if you're especially sensitive to smells, you should go check it out in person. That's why I recommend, you know, estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores, and antique malls, anywhere where you could see it in person. Towels, they're not going to be very soft unless you want a set of vintage towels as a decor piece. They're not going to be very soft, guys. Rugs, again, have they been cleaned? Is everything holding together? The thing with textiles is fabric rots, stitches break. And even if it was taken the best care of, it can rip, it can rotten, it can be rotten. So I would, it, pillows, rugs, towels, linens, curtains, upholstery, slip covers. I would just always go with Repop. And I, like I said, I am a big vintage. I have vintage furniture, every room in my house. I have vintage dishes. I have vintage collectibles. I have vintage everything, but vintage linen. And one big reason is because my husband has asthma on top of everything else. Upholstery slip covers. Again, just like bedspreads, just like curtains, just like pillows, just like rugs, you can find upholstery slip covers in the colors or in patterns that are vintage. And you can find 
really kitsch, kitschy vintage from the period, 70s, 60s, 50s. Or you can find very subtle, very, you know, you know it's from those time era that you want it to be from, but it's not knocking somebody up the side the head when they walk in going, I'm from the 50s, I'm from the 60s, 70s. Everybody's taste is different. So I've shown you some examples of everything textile related that you can redecorate your home with on a budget with vintage vibes. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as you enjoyed the one about paint. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you have not yet, hit that subscribe button and that little bell. We are trying to grow this channel and I have great news. On Friday, we are cooking vintage. I will be putting a short out on Wednesday with the topic of our cooking vintage. So stay tuned for that. That'll give you plenty of time if you want to cook along with me. Again, thanks for being here. I will see you on Friday.